Well, she looked like a picture. Who, dear? Desiree Armfelt, of course. How would I know, dear? Well, I only thought... You only thought what? Desiree is not a common name. I mean, none of your typists and things are called Desiree, are they? My typists and things in descending order of importance are Miss Osa Svensson, Miss Ona Nielsen, Miss Gerta Bjornsson, and Mrs. Amalia Lindquist. Something about this remarkable countess, madam. I shall try as best I can to depict the personality of the countess, madam, although it is too rich in mysterious contradictions to be described in a few short moments. It is said her power over men is most extraordinary. There is a great deal of truth in that, madam, and her lovers are as many as the pearls in the necklace which she always wears. Your own husband, madam, is supposed to be one of the handsomest pearls. Is he not? He fell in love with the countess on sight. She took him as a lover for three months, and after that, I had him back. And your marriage was crushed? On the contrary, madam. My husband had become a tender, devoted, admirable lover, a faithful husband, and an exemplary father. The countess's lack of decency is most moral. Oh. The Countess Selimine de Bronson, de la Tour de Casa. I think she looked especially at us. She Charlie, did indeed. She yes, appeared, Salome. and then she May smiled. May I be permitted to present my school friend from the provinces, Madame Vilmorac, whose husband, I'm sure, is in dire need of a little expert polishing. <laughs> oh, dear Countess, you are all but a legend to me. I implore you to reveal to us the secret of your success with the hardiest sex. She smiled at us. <laughs> dear Madame, that can be summed up in a single word. She's ravishingly beautiful. Makeup. Dignity. Dignity? How can you be sure if you've never seen her? Harsh. Dignity. We women have a right to commit any crime toward our husbands, our lovers, our sons, as long as we do not hurt their dignity. We should make men's dignity our best ally and caress it, cradle it, speak tenderly to it, and handle it as our most delightful talk. Then the man is in our hands at our feet or anywhere else that we momentarily wish him to be. <laughs> I want to go home. Anne. I want to go home. Anne. The local village dance on the green. Remember. Remember. The lady with the large tambourine. Remember. Remember. The one who played the harp in her mouth thought she was so adept. <laughs>